Hello, everybody, and welcome back, finally, it's been a while, to Beyond the Screen. I'm your humble DM, Tim. Today, I wanted to run through uh, a problem that has been occurring to me uh, a bit more frequently, and so I figured it probably has happened to you before. Say, for example, as you can see here, this is one of my maps for my upcoming upcoming wow upcoming <laughs> um planescape uh campaign this is meant to just be a basic representation of the city streets of sigil um and you spent all this time you've built all of this however when you go to load the map this happens so the map loads up and it gives you an error um saying that there is something missing sometimes you'll get like a whole series of these something like a whole stack of them loading up but since i've used the same asset when producing this map it's just giving me the one error generally you can locate where the issue is it'll be highlighted in green and basically what this means is that one of the links that connected to this asset is broken it no longer functions either the person has deleted the the assets well generally what that generally is or the the website no longer exists something has occurred and the link is broken how do you fix it now it was working before now i will state this will only work if the image so or well, the asset was functioning on your computer previously if it never worked say you've downloaded um a uh, a workshop file from the uh the workshop and it's coming up with all of these errors you and you've never seen it without the errors you will not be able to fix this however if you have seen this before without the errors you will be able to fix this so it's a little bit complicated but also relatively simple it can be a bit confusing uh, for uh, the newcomers but i will uh, run through this step by step. So what you need to do is you need to go to the menu, go to configuration. Now you'll notice this more frequently if you don't have mod caching activated, um, which means that sometimes you will have low also, sorry. Now, one thing that you uh, also need to remember is that you need to have mod ca caching on for this to also work. What this means is that whenever it activates a uh, a map, it puts everything into a folder on the hard drive so that it doesn't have to download it every single time. So provided you have had this button ticked before the error occurred, you're good. If you didn't, you might be out of luck. Um, but all you need to do is have this folder here, the mod save location. Some people set it to documents. I always set it to a game data folder because it's on a hard drive, which has more space. And all you need to do is open up the folder in the OS. All right. And here is that folder. And we'll close that down. Whoops. Hang on. Bring the folder back up. All right. So that the folder back up here. Now, we know that the issue is the texture file, which is the diffuse image on this asset here. Now, it's a Steam asset, so all you need to do is take that button, go Control-C, open up that folder again, and drop that into this thing here. Now, let's say it's working on it, it's not going to find anything, because there is something else you need to do. When Tabletop Simulator as you see, no results found. When Tabletop Simulator uh, converts these files into a mod cache file, it completely removes all of the uh, the non-numerical, non-alphanumeric things. So you need to delete all the slashes, the double dots, the dashes, the dots. Go along and delete all that stuff. So all you're left with is just alphanumeric text. And then let that run. A few moments later. Ah, there's a slash in there. There it is. All right. Took me a little while to find because 
that's there was a slash in the middle of the letters. So, like I said, it can be a little bit complicated, but uh, relatively simple. All right. And you'll end up with two images here generally. Two, there's usually almost two files. So the one you want is this one here. That's the, the image file for it. So all you what you need to do there um, is you take this file. You can go uh, copy or open file location, either or. You just want to make a copy of this file and then drop that into a folder. Simplest place to put it on is your desktop. But if you've got another folder, such as what I have here, the art folder, you can just chuck that into there. All right, so then all you need to do is browse local files. It's in YouTube, art, it should be right. Nope, that's not the right one. This one, this is the one I'm looking for. Click open, and then you wanna upload that to the cloud. Click upload and upload again. Wait a little moment and then click import, and it'll ask you, there are 81 matching objects. Do you also want to update them to match? You say yes, and boop, all of that is fixed. So if you've been working on a project and you've been borrowing assets from other locations, more often than not, this will occur. And so it need not be the end of the world. So if you ever get this um, message popping up, this is the, uh, the simplest way to fix it. Remember, you just need to have had the mod caching on, go into your, your game data folder once you've got the, uh, the link and you will be able to find the file that was being used in the, uh, in the cache. Granted, this is probably not going to be an issue for you if you are not playing multiplayer games so for example if you're just using this as a uh, a display interface similar to what i do when i do uh my my games it's probably not going to be that big of a problem however if you are using it on say multiple computers and you want to transfer uh transfer it, and especially if you're uploading it to the cloud because not the cloud you're uploading it to the workshop because you get a lot of those broken links um, that occur because it'll probably work fine on your computer but the moment you upload that to the workshop and someone else attempts to use it they won't be able to access those files because they don't have them in the cache so that's a um a little bit of a, a pitfall um some people uh will fall into um yeah and it works for pretty much everything um uh, the uh, the 3D assets, OBJ files, um, images, uh, audio, backgrounds, whatever. So provided it gives you a link um, showing you where the uh, the file is supposed to be located, you can just copy that into uh, a, a search field, do a search, and it'll pop up and just re-upload it to your own personal cloud, and you're all done. So... Um, I hope that's been helpful for uh, those of you out there that have been having this problem. Problem. Good God. For now, thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble bard, Tim. And be sure to check out the rest of the videos and come back next time for Beyond the Screen. Bye.